Hello and welcome to Selenium XPath tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to understand about the XPath function contains. Now, in the previous tutorial, we have learned about the function starts with. Now, contains is sort of similar in terms of uh, finding the dynamic web element. So, if you have a web UI and you have the web elements on the page, which are not static, which have the attributes which are dynamic, as we have seen in the previous tutorial. So, for example, uh, the tag name or the ID starts with some text, and then the rest part is the dynamic, which is which changes on every refresh of the page. Now, it contains is sort of similar as starts with, and it can find you. It will help you in finding the web elements which have those dynamic attributes. And you can also provide any partial attribute value with the contains function to find the value. And the format is pretty similar. You have the uh, relative X path which starts with double slash, tag name, and then uh, square bracket contains, and then bracket, whatever attribute you are looking for, and the value of that particular attribute. Now, as we have seen in the starts with case, you have to specify the text value that starts or the value of the element which is static and starts with so for example id starts with session uh, the word session but in terms of contains you can specify any attribute value be it the start of the uh, that particular attribute middle of the attribute or the end of the attribute so let's understand how this is used so if we open um, chrome here and let me explore or let me inspect the email field of developer.salesforce.com uh, website. I'll just right click and click on inspect and it will open the console here. So this email field has been highlighted and there is an, uh, a tag which is input. It's an input type and then there are different attributes like type, name, ID, value class, etc. Right. So these are all attributes for this particular input field. Now let me open the XPath locator. So command F or control F it is win if it is a Windows system. And here we can start typing in our XPath. So double forward slash and then the tag name, right? So tag name is input, right? And then square bracket and we'll use the function contains, right? So I'll say contains and then the brackets and the attribute. So for this input type, we are looking for different attributes. Now in the attribute, we can either use type, name, ID, etc. So we'll say, let's use the name. So I'll say at the rate name and then comma and then two quotes there and we'll specify the name as user, right? So as soon as we typed in the user, name contains user, right? It has highlighted the first element that it found, which is the first name, right? Because the name contains, the user is contained in one of eight elements. So it found that there are eight input tags on this particular page which contain this user word in the name attribute all right so now this is not unique so we have to basically make it unique so we can, what we can do is we can start with first right and now you can see that as soon as i change this name attribute or the value of this attribute to user um, and then square bracket and first it highlighted the first value in the page and it is the only value on this particular page with this name which contains name value as user square bracket first now if you want to uh, get the email we will we'll simply change uh, the name to user square bracket email right and it will highlight or it will select that particular element you can see one of one is only chosen similarly so it doesn't matter if we just use the 
starting of that particular uh, web element of that attribute we can also say, simply say anything in between say for example email so input contains email and we have chosen just email out of this value here okay or we can simply say mail right so in case of mail you can see that still that is unique because one of one has been highlighted and it has chosen this particular web element so contains in uh, the difference between starts with and complain uh, contains is that starts with you have to start with the value right so for example in this case uh, in this case here name is basically when you use starts with you have to start with name and then comma user but in case of contains you can pick any um, you know like text from that particular name field so you you could have scenario wherein uh, let me escape this and cancel this out so you could have scenarios wherein you might have dynamic element uh, or dynamic part in the front right and then there is some static part in between and then again some dynamic part something like that right or you might have something which is you know static in the front but dynamic at the end in that case starts with work will uh, will work pretty well but if you have dynamic in the front then you have to basically use contains and provide whatever the static part of that attribute is in your xpath and that's what we have been doing here right so that's what we have done in here so let's let me write this xpath again so i'll say input and then square bracket and I'll say contains function and within that contains function I'll say add the rate um, name and then comma I'll say email right and you can see that email has been highlighted now let me copy this xpath go to pycharm and test this right so I'll simply replace this with the dummy text here right and so this is the x path for the email and i am providing the email value right let me run this text here and see that it is running successfully so it's opening the browser and yeah so you can see it has typed in the email dummy email in the email field and close the browser and it has passed the test so that is how you will be utilizing the contains function along with the starts with function that we discussed in the previous tutorial to find the dynamic web elements on your web page so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching